Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening.
Reina Esperanza, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher tonight. Are you ready for the class? See, there's Monica. Monica, Marisol, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? See, there's Natalie. Good evening, Natalie. Okay. Well, it's a start. It's time. Let's see, there's more daily. Yancy, Monica. Oh. Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Let's see, let me just check um, something on my microphone. Well, hello, good evening. My name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher for tonight. And tonight is going to be a very interesting and easy class. Don't worry. So let's see, you are basic three, right? Beginner's three. And let's see. I have Jancy, Natalie, Marbelli, so well, welcome, all of you. Uh, tonight we are having a review, right? A review of the previous classes you have got. And it's been quite interesting, actually. Because in this level, well, you have had the opportunity to, to advance and to practice many different topics. And as I told you, tonight we are making a small review of all the topics you have covered. Uh, now, 
little something. If you feel that I am speaking too fast, let me know. So, same thing we have on the rapidly. Please, okay? Remember, this is your class, and I am here to help you. So, any question, any doubt, stop me anytime, no problem, okay? Cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta, me detienen en cualquier momento. No problem, okay? At all. Don't worry about that. So, let's see. We got some people here. There's Ruth, Sandra. And let's see. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, there's Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Good evening. See, Elizabeth del Carmen, good evening. How are you? Good yes. evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Hello, Kevin. How are you? I'm good. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's the attitude to be always good and ready for the class, right? Okay, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Well, as I told you today, well, we got uh, many things to cover. We have us here a, a PowerPoint presentation that we are going to be working with. Quite simple, pretty simple. And let's start, let's see. Let's start, let me share with you. Okay, here we go. Let's see, guys. Well, today is your last class, is your final review, and our level is beginners three, class number 16. As I told you before, my name is Lucas Arevalo, I'm going to be your teacher, and Let's see. We are right on time to start practicing. Okay, it's gonna be good and easy. First off, let's see. We got us here months, dates. Uh, that's something that you have practiced already, right? So let's see. We got us January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, if you remember, whenever we are trying to say a date. Instead of saying the regular numbers, and that's something very interesting, right? Like if I am trying to tell you my my birthday, instead of saying uh, I was born in December 17, I say I was born in December 17. You remember that? And that's quite simple, right? Uh, like, uh, well, let's see. Our course, this course ends in June 23rd. Let me share it again with you the presentation so we can practice. You can listen to the pronunciation because then we are going to make a small practice. So we got us here uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 
27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now, as I know, this is just a review. Let's see, there's still something here that we need to remember. And it's right this. Let's see. Okay. In my case, I tell you that I was I was born in December seventeen. I was born in December 17th, 1979. Okay. Now, something that you must remember is this. You will listen to some people using this exactly here. Some people use it, some people don't. Some people say, I was born in December 17th, and some people will say, I was born in December the 17th. Okay. Okay, now let me stop here. And, 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 and. Okay, that's something you must remember, okay? That uh, some people says December 17th and some people says December the 17th. Do you understand me? Mediante that? Tell me if yes or not. Okay, that's that's something that I will need. Uh, whenever there's any doubt, uh, please stop me and tell me. So let's see, Rafael. Uh, tell me, when were you born? I was I was born in August. 29, uh, 90, 20, uh, 29. Okay, perfect. What about you, Jancy? I was born in December 12th. December the 12th. Okay, perfect. Uh, Reina Los Angeles, what about you? I was... March 14th. I was born. I was born. March okay. 14th. Excellent. Let's see. Sandra, what about you? Sandra Noemi. I was born August 6th. Okay, August the 6th. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see. Elizabeth and Carmen. I was born in April 25th. Okay, thank you. And Ruth Abigail? Let's see. Monica Marisol. Okay, okay. Let me see. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. <laughs> okay, okay, Monica, tell me, when were you Sorry. born? Sorry. <laughs> I was born in... Está preguntando sobre eh, qué mes, máximo, algo así, ¿verdad? Yes, 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 exactly okay, that. Okay, I was exactly. born in March 2003. Okay, March 2003. Oh my gosh, a little bit. You're a kid. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> sí. 
Let's continue. Let's continue. Remember, this is just a review. It's going to be easy cheesy. Easy easy. So let's continue. Okay, Ruth, no problem. Understood, Marbelli. Okay, here. Okay, this is easy, right? Let's continue. Okay, the feature would be going to. This is very interesting. Okay, are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they're going to give me a cake. Okay, now remember the future would be going to. Remember that these are going to is the auxiliary, okay? The rest is the, the bear with the atmosphere, the bear do, have, sing, okay celebrate stay but be going to is it works as an auxiliary and it's quite simple right uh, the structure if you remember is subject plus the verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement the verb to be remember is am um, is are okay so as in, in the example we got us i am going to walk in the morning Mario is going to buy a new car. I'm going to walk in the morning. Mario is going to buy a new car. Okay. If you see, these are uh, these are actions that are happening in the future. Any question? Oh, teacher. Okay, now remember something. We are talking about something that is going to happen in the near future. Okay. And this is something that we must be, uh, that we must remember. When we use the be going to, we are talking about situations that are happening soon pronto very soon okay that's the first one okay okay now this is the first idea that we use the big going to to express something that is happening in the near future now something else that you need to remember that uh it can also express a conviction or certainty. También nos expresa una convicción o certeza. Like, you go out, look at the sky, it's very dark, it's windy. Vemos que el cielo está muy oscuro, mucho viento. And you start feeling like even the smell. And you say, it's going to rain. It's a certainty. It's a conviction, okay? Or like uh, you know that you have been attending to classes, you have done the exercises on the platform, and you say, I am going to approve the course. You're certain, okay? So it's, yo voy a aprobar el curso. You're certain of that. That's when we use the be going to. We use it to express a near future, but we also use to express uh, a certainty, something that we have a conviction, okay? Give me just a second, let me adjust something here. We also use it when we talk about plans and intentions, okay? In English, sometimes we want to express a plan. 
something that we have an intention to do. Like, hmm, you know, I am going to I am going to go out tomorrow night. It's a day off for me. I'm going to go out with my friends. It's an intention, okay? I'm going to look for a new job, you say. I am fed up with this. I'm going to look for a new job. You're expressing an intention of doing something in the future. As I told you, when we have that, when we express a conviction or a prediction, like when I told you, oh, it's going to rain. You look at the sky, it's dark and everything. You say, oh, it is going to rain. That's prediction. Uh, sometimes, sometimes when we want to say that something is mandatory or uh, when we give commands, imagine a sujeto le da una orden, it's a command, or your parents, or you as parents tell to your kids, or ustedes como padres se lo dicen a sus hijos, you tell them, uh, tomorrow we are going to clean this room. Mañana vamos a limpiar este cuarto. Okay? In that case, it's a command. Or I tell Yancy, you are going to practice in a conversation tonight. It's a command. Okay? I am stating that it's obligatory. It's mandatory. No options. Okay? You have to. Something else that you need to remember is this, that sometimes when we say going to, it can be contracted. You will listen to some people saying gonna. Okay? That's something that you must remember. Sometimes when people are expressing the big going to, uh, when they are speaking, in informal speaking, Remember, just informal. And in informal speaking, some people will say gonna. Okay, it's a sound that comes from here. Gonna, gonna. Like, uh, it's gonna rain tonight. It's gonna. It's going to. So the expression. Let's go back here. The expression, look, uh, I told you, it is going to rain tonight. This expression, sometimes it is pronounced gonna. Okay, but what's gonna? What do we express with gonna? Exactly this. Okay, so I say, it's gonna rain tonight. Remember, I am gonna, I'm gonna work tonight. It's mandatory, I have to work tonight. Okay, so always remember that we say gonna, gonna is used whenever you are speaking. A lot of people use it when they speak. And that happens with some other verbs? Yes, it happens with want to, wanna. Like, I wanna listen to you guys in next exercise. I want to listen to you. I wanna, I'm gonna, okay? Just remember, that's a little tip. You will listen to that, it's commonly used. Se usa muy Shall I continue? Questions, preguntas? No, we cool. No. Okay. It's clear. Let's move along. Let's move along. I am sure your teacher explained this beautifully. I remember, this is just a review. If you got any question, let me know. I know that you were you were working a lot with her and making many, many exercises. But uh, let's continue. Where am I? Where am I? Right there. Okay. Now. 
Simple past statements, regular verbs. Okay, this is a whole different enchilada, right? I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We chopped for groceries. We didn't chop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Remember that didn't equals did not. So the spelling, remember, when we are talking about regular verbs, in order to express their simple past, we just add ed at the end. Watch, watch. Exercise, exercise. Study, study. Stay, stayed. Chop, chopped. Okay, now. The sounds. This is the, the tricky thing about the regular verbs. Okay. ED. Want to. Needed. Want to. Needed. Voice sounds equals use the vocal cords and they produce a vibration or humming sound in the throat. So we got, remember? Want to. Needed. Now, the verbs that ends in these letters, and we add ed, the pronunciation of the ed in these cases becomes a t. Helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Now, when we are talking about the verbs, that end with D. Remember that the D is voice, okay? Color, cleaner, offered, damage, love, use, followed, enjoyed, amazed. In this case, you gotta be careful with voice and voiceless. Remember, in this case, the ED doesn't sound. The sound that we make is the one of a T, helped, looked, okay? And remember that in this case, the sound is of the D. Call, clean, offer, damaged, love, use, follow, enjoy, amaze. Okay, we got us here a couple of sentences. Let's see. It says, Susan lived in New York when I was young, my teacher, we got ever liked our presentations, my mother, French at school, the student at the window because it was cold. We started the new unit yesterday, Peter joined the music lessons. Okay, let's do a little something, guys. I'm going to divide you in small groups. We're going to make this exercise quick, okay? I'm going to divide you in groups of three members. I need you to do that exercise. I'm going to share the image on the WhatsApp group. Eh, le comparto en el grupo de WhatsApp la imagen, lo divido en grupo de tres, you solve it, okay? See, you got it. Okay, I sent it already. You can check it out in the WhatsApp group. And Let's see. Groups are created. Let me see. Okay, perfect. Please guys, let's do it. Three minutes, three minutes.
to check on that first. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Natali, ahora Hola. te toca, te toca. Los tengo que decir yo hoy. Sí. Ok. Eh, Susan live in New York when was young. My teacher liked our presentation. My mother um, studied French at school. The student studied, studied. Studied. The student um, closed the window because it is was cold. We start start uh, started mm -hmm. started the new unit yesterday. Peter. Peter join. Ay, no sé. ¿Cómo se pronunciaría? Join. Join the music lessons. Let me go check if the rest of the groups finish. Entonces la primera queda. Susan lived in New York when was young. La otra quien la lee. My teacher like or presentation. My mother is studying French or school. The stu students closed the window because it was cold. We started the new unit yesterday. Peter joined the music lesson. lesson. Mm. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. It's time, 60 seconds. It's easy, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This is going to be fast because I am sure that it's okay for you. So let's continue. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Rafael, please, number one, read it for me. Uh, Susan. Uh, live a new, uh, pardon, Susan lived in New York when was young. Okay, Susan lived in New York when was young. Perfect. Actually, there's a little typo there. I'm getting your word. When she was young. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, now, now, now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Jancy, number two, yours. Okay, my teacher liked our presentation. Perfect, my teacher liked our presentation. Remember, me as I am teaching, I, I emphasize a lot the sound, but usually when we are speaking, we go like, my teacher liked our, our presentation. Charter, right? Yo como estoy dando la clase a veces, enfatizo mucho, but don't worry, usually when we are speaking in a regular speaking, it goes like faster. My teacher liked our presentations. Kevin, would you mind helping us with the third one? Hey, teacher, my mother studied French at the school. Perfect. My mother, my mother studied French at school. Perfect. Wendy, the student, what's yours? The student closed the window because it was it was cold. Okay, the student closed the window because it was cold. Perfect. Uh, Rina, can you help us with the next one, Rina? We? We started, started the new unit yesterday. Okay, yes, perfect. We started the new unit yesterday. We got to be careful because if we say we started... That's something else. Startle is mirar, quedarse viendo algo. Okay. So in this case, we startled the new unit yesterday. Perfect, Rina. Excellent. Well done. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Monica Marisol, please, can you help us with the next one? Peter joined the music lesson. Peter joined the music lessons. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Now, let's continue. The past of B. Let's see. Let me see how we are doing with time. Yes, we are perfect with time. The past of B. We got us pronouns. Okay. You know that whenever we are talking about he, I, he, she, or it, it's was. Whenever we are talking about you, they were, it's were. Now, something to remember here is this. The verb be. Okay, let's remember this is just a review, so don't worry. I'll try to make it shorter. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I need to do a little something here. Like this. Okay, remember this. The verb is be, right? We got us the verb. Be. The verb be, remember that uh, we can use it in present and we can also use it in past, okay? Now, in present, whenever we are talking about the verb be, we are using am, um, is, or are, right? In past, we use was and we use were. Okay, what is this? This is the way in which we conjugate the verb. Esta es la manera como conjugamos el verbo. What is to conjugate the verb? What's that? ¿Qué es eso? It's when we uh, set the word, the verb, like working. We make it work like this. When we say it like, when we say that the verb is working, is when we put uh, a subject before. And what is the subject? The one who performs the action. So remember, if we are talking about am, it's simple, right? We use am, right? Whenever we are using is, you know that it's for he, she, it. Whenever we are using are, you know that in this case, we are talking about you, 
with they. That's in present, but when we are talking about the past, it changes a little bit. Why? Because in the past we use for I, for he, she, and it, we use was. And for the rest, we use where. So that's the function of the, the subject. Remember, the subject in the action can either be a noun or a pronoun. Usually, when we are teaching, we use the pronouns. It's easier. Normalmente, cuando lo estamos enseñando, utilizamos los pronombres. Más fácil, right? I, you, he, she, we, you, they. Simple. But remember that they can be substituted by a noun. Like Wendy, if I'm talking about Wendy, like, oh, Wendy was in class yesterday. I'm talking about she, okay? Remember that, that you can substitute the noun with the pronoun. Just that for teaching uh, styles, it's easier to use it with the pronouns. But let's continue. Okay, so we have here, you, they, we, use were. I, he, she, it, use was. Now, next exercise, right? Was or were in the blanks. So we got us here, it, very hot yesterday. I, at the park, they, sick last week. Sheila, at home last night. We, at school last Sunday. Again, let's see, I'm sending you to work in the groups. I'm sending you the image right now. You got it right in this moment. And groups are open, again, three minutes, no more. This is quite simple. See, let's go check the groups. Hello. Hello, Jessica. I'm sorry, I moved you from group, right? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was a, a, a finger error. Is this finger the fault? I think I said it wrong, sorry. Okay. No problem, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go check the rest of the groups if they are finishing. This is AC. Hello. The first, come on, okay. Marcelina, Monica. Uh -huh. <laughs> La primera, como que, the first. Uh, yo? Yeah. It was very hot yesterday. Mm -hmm. It hot. was at hot. park. Hot. It was very hot. Hot. Okay. I was at the park. Mm -hmm. They were sick last week. 
Sheila was at home last night. We were ashore last Sunday. 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 Sunday, Sunday perdón. Perfect. No, no. No worry. Don't worry. Remember, we are learning. We are learning. So, I mean, if it's necessary, that's the way we help you. No se preocupe. Aquí estamos aprendiendo. Mi idea es, I mean, it's better for me to correct you right now and not for you to forget it later. Mejor que yo le ayude ahorita y no que después ande mucho con dificultad en eso. Okay? So, don't worry. It's normal. Okay. Quite normal. So, feel relaxed. Estamos aprendiendo. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. All of us. Todos nosotros. So don't worry about it. I need you to feel confident and comfortable. Let's go back. It's time to go back. Okay, let's see what is back. Let me just check you the sound. Yep. Okay, guys, let's see. Jessica, Jessica Rosibel, can you help me with the number one? It was very hot yesterday. Excellent. Number two, Jancy Andrea. I was at the park. I was at the park. Perfect. Wendy Carmen, can you help me with number three? Okay. They were sick last week. They were sick last week. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rina, please help me. Number four. Reina was at the phone last night. Excellent. Ovidio Baltasar, number five. We we was at school last Sunday. Oh, we were. We That's were. Good. Excuse me, sis, sis. <laughs> No problem, no problem, don't worry. Say it again, please, Ovidio. We were at school last Sunday. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, let's continue. Okay, look. Now, remember that besides the affirmative, we have the negative form. In the negative, we gotta choose between uh, wasn't or weren't. But let's do this together. Now, let's see. Elizabeth del Carmen, please help me with number one. It wasn't or weren't. Read the whole sentence, please. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. Okay. Perfect. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. Thank you. Kevin Daniel Lopez. Please, number two. We weren't at the cinema last night. Great. Well done. Well done. Now, uh, Marcelina, number three. 
please, Amalia. Team over. Team over. Wasn't great. Okay, perfect. The movie wasn't great. Excellent. Number four goes to uh, Monica. Monica, you got number four. They weren't at the teacher last Saturday. At the teacher? At the teeter. Teeter. At the teeter. Oh, the perfect. Saturday. Perfect. They weren't at the theater last Saturday. Uh, Monica, number five, please. All my friends weren't at the party on Saturday night. Okay. All my friends weren't at the party on Saturday night. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Simple past statements with irregular verbs. This is different. Do you remember? Do, deal, get up, got up, go, went, meet, met, come, came, have, had. Okay. Now, you need to remember that whenever we are talking about irregular verbs, the irregular verbs, you need to learn them. by heart, okay? You need to learn them by heart. This expression by heart, then learn by heart, means uh, aprender de memoria, okay? So, whenever you are talking about irregular verbs, uh, that's the little tricky thing that you need to learn them by heart. Remember, that's mostly practice, okay? That's something that you gotta practice and practice and practice. And that's the only way we can do it, okay? But let's make a little practice. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have do equals deal. Get up becomes got up. Go, went, meet, met, come, came, have, had. Now, guiding answers. Have fun, meet new people, see a movie, take a class, have a picnic, meet old friends, see a play, take pictures. Okay, what do we have this? Okay, okay, practice time. Check the examples presented. Create at least four sentences using irregular verbs. Share your sentences with the class, okay? But, Guiding examples. I had an amazing weekend. My family and I went to the beach. We left on Friday and we came back on Sunday. So let's do something. Let me share with you. First, the guiding examples, we got them right there. And let's see if we can create some sentences, okay? I need you to think about four sentences. Let's do it here. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. I'm sharing you the guiding examples and the guiding answers.
I need you to think about some sentences. I'm sure you are writing. I will ask some of you for some of the sentences, okay? Okay. Oh, so sorry, Sandra. Let's see, Jancy, give me one of your sentences, please. Okay. Yesterday I saw an eagle in my tree. Yesterday? I saw. Yep. An eagle on my tree. Oh, yesterday I saw an eagle on my tree. Perfect. Excellent sentences. Yesterday I saw an eagle on my tree. Like this, right? Yeah. Perfect. Rafael, please tell me yours. I went to the park on the weekend. Okay. I went to the park. on the weekend. Like this, right? Rina, please give me your sentence. I drank soda yesterday at night. Okay. I drank soda Yesterday at night. Okay. Just a little thing. Yesterday at night, we say last night. Yes, Charter. Okay. Charter. Más corto. It's the same, right? Yesterday at night. Oh, it's last night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Reina, what about yours? Hello. Hello, Hola. Reina. Yes, now I can hear you. Tell me, tell me, tell me your sentence. Friend, I, I went to the movie. Okay, I went to the movie. Cool. I love going to the movies. It's fun. Thank you. Kevin, Kevin, you've been quiet. Please give me one sentence. Okay, teacher. Um, I went to my grandfather's house last week. Okay, I went to. I went to my grandfather's house last week. Okay, you know. You can say it like this. Uh, 
you can say grandpas. Okay. When you say grandpas, you are saying grandfather and grandmother. And you are saying grandparents. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Perfect. Well done. Let's see. Next, next, next. Hmm. Ovidio, please. Um, we went to vacation last weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, it could be like this. We went out on vacation. Last week. Look it. Went out. Salimos. Okay. Perfect. Very well done. Thank you, mister. Well, guys. Wow. This class ends in just one hour, right? Solo una hora, right? Oh, my gosh. Believe it or not, time has flown. El tiempo voló. It was a pleasure for me to be with you here tonight. And well, you got my number. My name is Lula Sarevalo. If you need any help, I'm here to help, okay? Contact me anytime, no problem. My pleasure. Uh, is there any question before we finish the class? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Perhaps I'll see you around. Tal vez lo veo por ahí. Bye-bye, take care, have a good night. Well, good night. Not Thanks to you Bye -bye. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.